everyone here is a question on exercise 11.3 third question this is from perimeter area chapter of class 7 and the question is if the circumference of circular sheet is 154 find its radius also find the area of the sheet and the bracket they have given to take the pi value as 22 by 7 okay so what they have given they have given circumference of circular sheet means we have a sheet which is in a shape of circle and uh, circumference means the boundary okay we for other shapes we call it as perimeter but in case of circle we're going to call it as circumference so they have given the circumference as 154 that's it and then we have to find out the radius and we have to find its area so let's start solving this so let us write down what is given so they have given circumference circumference is denoted by capital C so C is equal to 154 meter and what we have to find out we have to find out the radius using the radius we have to find out the area of the circular sheet okay now how to do this now since they have given only the circumference we have to use the circumference of circle formula now, but what is circumference of circle what is C here we know circumference of circle formula is 2 pi r so let's substitute the value here so in place of C I gotta write down 2 pi r because C is 2 pi r yeah that's the formula so it's equal to the 154 okay I'm not writing the meters here I'm gonna write it at the end now I have to find out the radius r so let me substitute the value first so this is 2 multiplied by pi value is 22 by 7 multiplied by r which we have to find out r we don't know we have to find out the value of r so is equal to 154 now I'm going to transpose a number so let me first multiply 2 and 22 or you can keep it like that you can multiply or you can leave it like that so r is equal to 154 Now we'll transpose the 7 to the other side. Now since 7 is in division, when we transpose this to the other side, it comes in multiplication. Okay, so 154 multiplied by 7. Okay, now if you see here, this 2 and 22 are in numerator and they are in multiplication. So when you transpose a number from the multiplication to the other side, it comes in division so here both the numbers will come in division so this will be divided by 2 into 22 or you can multiply and you can write down 44 now we're going to do the cancellation here we're going to cancel the numbers so you can see 154 is an even number we can cancel that in a two table so this is two ones are and here since 15 doesn't go so and two sevens are 14 so two sevens are 14 one will be the remainder I'm gonna put that one along with four that makes the number 14 and then again two sevens are 14 now we have 77 in the numerator and 22 in the denominator we can cancel this in 11 table so 11 twos are 22 and 11 sevens are 77 right now from here this is equal to now we just multiply the numbers in numerator 7 sevens are 49 so 49 divided by 2 this is what we got r is equal to or if you want to convert this you can convert this and you can write down you can cancel this this is the one answer or you can cancel 49 and 2 or you can divide it I'm gonna cancel here 2 ones are here 2 twos are 4 9 doesn't go so 2 fours are 8 2 fours are 8 means 1 will be the remainder so I'm gonna put decimal and I'm gonna write down 0 that makes the number 10 and 2 fives are 10 so the radius we got here is 24.5 or you can write down 49 by 2 anything so 24.5 the units will be meter right so we got the first part of the question here the second what we have to solve is we have to find out the area of the circular sheet now let's see how to find out that now I'm gonna write down here area so area of circular sheet or area of circle is pi r square okay pi r square r square means you're multiplying r two times r into r now let's substitute the value here 
so pi is 22 by 7 multiplied by now in place of r you can either take 24.5 meter or 49 by 2 meter here i'm going to avoid the decimal because it's going to make the answer more complicated to understand i'm going to go with 49 by 2 because we can cancel few numbers so in place of r i'm going to write down 49 by 2 multiplied by 49 by 2 now we're going to do the cancellation 7 ones are 7 7 are 49 yeah we can cancel 2 and 22 2 ones are and then 2 11 sir. now what we have here is we have uh, 11 into 7 which is 77 so 77 multiplied by 49 this we have in the numerator and the denominator we have 2 now again we have to cancel this and we have to multiply uh, now since none of the number get cancelled with uh, uh, 2 because both are like odd numbers it doesn't get cancelled with 2 so we can either multiply 77 and 49 and whatever answer we got we can multiply and we can divide that with uh, 2 or what we can do here is we can cancel 77 and 2 anything so here I have already multiplied 77 and 49 so once we cancel uh, when, once we multiply we get 3 7 7 3 the numerator part divided by 2 now you can divide the number with 2 okay uh, or else you can cancel 2 and 77 the answer will be in decimal again the decimal number you have to multiply with the other number in the numerator so that becomes more complicated so better multiply the numbers like whole numbers and then you divide it okay so let's cancel so again the numerator is an odd number we cannot cancel this in two table the answer will be in decimal so two ones are here three doesn't go so two ones are two so one is a remainder that makes the number 17 two eights are 16 so one is a remainder again i'm gonna put the one here that makes a number 17 again so two eights are 16 okay again remainder will be one let me put along with three that makes a number 13 and two six are 12 so one is a remainder and we don't have a number one is a remainder now i'm gonna put decimal here and i'm gonna write down zero along with this one that makes a number 10 and two fives are 10 so 10 will also get cancelled so here we got 1886.5 meter square area the unit will be always in square if you didn't understand how I have cancelled you can go with the division method or if you have any other method you can go with that so that's it we have found the radius and we also found the area of the circular sheet and in case you have any further question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching